Hi guys, welcome back to my Brave XVS video. Now, like usual, I'm gonna talk about the banner which is gonna come on this week. So, yes, this week actually is kind of special because yes, it is a new type of new vision. Okay, so he is the only character Samurai Shian. So let's take a look on the character. So first of all, one warning to you. Samurai Shian is not the same Neo Vision like other. He cannot brave shift. Okay, so this can become a good thing because that means you don't need to remember complicated skill. But maybe the bad thing is the equipment. They say it is advantage because it make you easier to gear him. But really, because you don't need to have duplicated gear to gear your brave shift form. So I think it's kind of disadvantage. Why? Because sometimes we need to gear our normal form or certain form with elemental resistance and then change into the offensive form when we want to deal uh, final damage. But we cannot do that with this kind of new vision. But don't worry because Samurai Shian is quite interesting and very good. Okay, so first of all, he is probably the best counter attacker we have on this game. His normal attack can deal 300 times damage modifier. Yes, 300 times. That's insane, right? And yes, to trigger that normal attack, of course, you need to get hit. But again, you don't need to worry about that because he has 100% 100% provoke ability. And yes, on that provoke ability, he gets 75% general and physical mitigation. So yes, I can say he can survive from uh, physical attack and some magical attack. And if you worry about physical attack, then you can simply make him into having 100% physical evasion. That way, he can become really insane damage dealer and yes, provoker. And yes, you don't need to equip him with um, prov passive provoke because yeah, to get that awesome damage modifier for normal attack you really need to cast that provoke every turn okay so that's it about his normal abilities that's it okay because the next special thing about him is from the limit burst wow the limit burst it is good but also kind of annoying at the same time good why is it why is it good I talk about super limit burst, okay? For the normal limit burst, I can say that he is kind of like other Neo Vision we have got, okay? We have gotten because his normal limit burst deal like 150 times or damage. So that's nice, but nothing special, okay? But the super limit burst, it is new feature for this type of Neo Vision, which will be unlocked after five turns gonna deal 300 times our damage and as a comparison let me remind you that Severod, Avalanche Tifa they are premium unit and their limit burst deal like 350 times but you need to stack the limit burst okay on the first hit they only deal like 250 times 200 yeah 250 times damage modifier so yes Xian is probably the strongest non-premium finisher but again, it is locked to our element. But again, maybe they know that Samurai Shion doesn't have popularity like Tifa and Sephiroth. That's why they make him non-premium unit. But still, pretty amazing if you need that earth, uh, earth physical finisher. Okay? And the weakness, like I said, you need to wait for 5 turns. Okay? To be able to use uh, that amazing super limit burst and maybe this is not that good on content like dark vision especially when you want to clear below five turns you want to kill the enemy yeah let's say within one or three turns okay and yes this can be a problem but again maybe not that problem on harder content because you usually delay your damage to build up your damage okay so yeah this is also can still work with uh, Zidan STMR because Zidan STMR gives you maximum limit burst damage buff on the fifth turn. And if you interest 
interested to if you are interested to reduce the cooldown then yes you need to awaken him okay so this is where um, it becomes like well okay so i'm not sure whether he gonna get abilities awakening or not but this upgrade seems really really important for samurai shen especially if you cannot finish the enemy on the first super limit burst okay because if you don't have that cooldown that means you need to wait quite long time before i'm able to use the second super limit burst and i think that's kind of annoying Okay, so yes, good luck for you if you are into this super limit burst thing, but um, so far, let me remind you that the first unit that get this kind of new feature, super limit burst, usually not that meta, okay. I don't say Xian is bad, he is perfectly good, okay, 300 times limit burst damage, wow, insane, okay, but... Yes, good luck on making him into X plus 2 or X plus 3 to reduce the cooldown. So that's all my preview for Samurai Shen. Now the final question, should you summon? So the answer is really easy guys. We kind of lack of Earth Finisher, maybe Diverty? Okay, Diverty is anyone? Yeah, is Diverty using Earth Element? But the point here is if you want to, yes get high score on dark vision as easy as possible maybe shen is your answer because tifa water severe dark shen or who's next okay who's next just add just rotate the element oh yeah i forgot auron auron win okay we already have four so yes we need fire fire for fire we already have uh lewis on the global maybe so Yes, basically ask yourself, do you really need that art element? If the answer is yes, then go ahead because yes, he is the most powerful art physical finisher. And don't summon if yes, art element is not a must. And in fact, um, I really cannot remind where I really want to use art element, okay? Because usually I use like fire, light. Okay, so I really cannot remember, but again, this can be useful on content like Dark Vision. Okay, and really, if you really need to deal art element, remember that you don't need to use Shen. We already have Igni. Okay, so Igni, you can imbue him with art element, and wow, Igni damage modifier is also insane. I'm not sure which one is more powerful. Okay, but. In terms of flexibility, I choose Igni instead of the Samurai Shen. Okay, but again, that's just me. It's all up to you. If you really want to collect that elemental physical finisher, he is the one for the art element. And remember, there is no 5 stars unit on this week. Uh, actually, maybe it's not that important, okay? Because if there is a good, a really good 5 stars unit on the banner, we can simply use our UOC. So yes, in the end, it is the Shan banner. If you don't get Shan, then it's shame for you. <laughs> it's bad joke, okay? Sorry, but yes, that's it for me for this week. Only one character. And we we also get a new abilities awakening, but I will talk about it later on separate video reviewing the reviewing the character, okay? So yep, that's all you need to know. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Perfect Fuse Guide. Bye bye guys.